They call me Squirrel. What's going on, Squirrel Squad? Welcome back over here on Halo Squirrel Down Under. It's so good to be back. It's so good to be making videos again. And this one definitely has a lot, a lot, a lot of recommendations. And this is Daryl Waltrip Bathurst V8 Supercar Hot Laps. I've, I've, a lot of people have told me about this. Daryl Waltrip gets taken for a lap around. Um, and uh, we're going to see how he handles it over at Bathurst. So, uh, it's your first time here. I got a few different Bathurst videos up. There will be some more. Also, um, if you like music in any way, I have another channel called The Other Side of Squirrel, where I let the whole song play before I speak at the end, which is uh, what a lot of people really enjoy. Uh, but please feel free to check that out. My main channel is called Hey Look Squirrel, and I do um, European reactions. So, if any of that tickles your fancy, click on the buttons and make it happen. Let's do it. Let's watch my buddy Daryl Waltrip. See, uh, see how he handles the uh, Bathurst hot lap. Uh, so many people, you know, have tried to put a lap into words around here. We've got a special guest at the mountain this weekend. Three-time NASCAR champion Daryl Waltrip is here. He's also doing, of course, commentary straight back to the US of A. He went for a ride with Jason Bright, and as you're about to see, he was not lost for words. And we're off and we're rolling. That is not possible. That is impossible. That just can't be done. I just lost my lunch. I didn't even have any. This is a geological oddity. This right here is what's crazy. This is crazy. What was I thinking? This is the toughest thing I've ever done. Oh God, we left the ground again. Oh shit. These NASCAR guys are not used to this shit. Oh no. I'll give out. My arms are broken. I'm dying. Oh boy, oh boy. Hang on, Jason. Can't even see where we're going and he ain't slowing down. Oh, Oh no, the dipper! The old dipper! Oh, I'm dying! I'm dying! We're gonna die! We're gonna die! Not the corkscrew! Oh, mercy! No, Jason! No, easy, Jason! Undamn believer! Down in the dip up boom! This is gonna hurt 200 miles a damn hour! Oh crap! Oh my gosh! I have never been on a ride like this in my life. It's good, buddy. It's <laughs> a NASCAR driver saying this. I never been on a ride like this in my life. Yeah, there you go. So when people make fun of you guys, it's valid. <laughs> Back her down. Quit playing around. I don't know how much grip they got, but it'll break your neck. I know that. It's hell corner. It's hell corner. Not hell corner. Not this part. I hate the corkscrew. The corkscrew is dumb. Who put this on the road? You can't race on the track like this. Take me home, Jake. Holy crap. Oh, get rolling. <laughs> that was hilarious. <laughs> You're kidding. This circuit's been called many things, but a geological oddity by DW. He's down there with Mark Larkham. i got to say, Matty, I've been coming here a long time, Daryl, and that is the most entertaining piece of television I've seen come out of this place. I, I was in shock. Let's see, I, I talked to Jason, I thought he's a level guy, you know, he just seems like a, a solid mate, you know, somebody you can depend upon, and so I thought we were just going to go out and take a little cruise, you know, go up to Mountain Street and look at some turns and some parks, there's parks up there, and maybe a little look over the edge up at Skyline, you know, and what in the heck is an elbow doing in the race, but anyway, so when we took off Pitt Road, I knew I was in, I knew I'd made a big mistake, because when he put that helmet on, he turned into Superman. <laughs> I've got to ask you, Professor, to put it in perspective, I mean, Daryl's to us a Peter Brock or Dick Johnson in their own country, and uh, as a racer, I'm really interested to hear your perspective of the V8 supercar. You've driven it all, you've won 84 NASCAR races, three titles, what do you think about our jiggers? I, I love these cars. I, I, uh, Marcus Ambrose came to America to race, and when I saw Marcus race on a, a road course, I said, this dude is, he's one of the best, maybe the best I've ever seen in a stock car on a road course. I said, I, I'd like to see where he came from. I'd like to meet some of the guys he raced with. And so the opportunity to come here to Bathurst, which this race gets there and realizes these guys are all awesome. <laughs> in the racing world, all over the all over the world, this is one of the biggest races you'll ever go to. This racetrack, television doesn't do it justice. You don't see the elevation changes. You don't see how tight the turns are and how blind they are yeah. and how blindingly quick you come down the Conrad straightaway into the chase right here. I mean, this is an amazing racetrack and you, the guys that do well here, there's one reason why they do well here. They respect this joint, and you better have that in your mind when you start the race. Well, you've actually 
told us, well, we've got some verbiage from you that we've never heard before. <laughs> You've told us stuff oh, about really? the track that we didn't know. Uh, well, let's just run through a couple of sure. the key items, Daryl. I'd, uh -huh. I'd love to go through. Uh, <laughs> this is a geological oddity. Well, it, it's just, I, of course, I'm in another part of the world, so geologically, I don't know where I am, but if I had to go around this track, I would say I was lost because okay. I, I had no idea where I was going or what I was doing. I hate the corkscrew. The corkscrew is dumb. Oh, my I mean, God. the corkscrew's in Laguna Seca in America. I, I, well, I know it is, but, you know, you call it the dipper. I call it the corkscrew. I always wondered. I've never been to Laguna Seca to do the corkscrew. I always wondered. wonder what that feels like. I now know it will scare the hell out of it. Well, no, no, no. That's another corner. That's over here. I forgot. Hell corner. Yeah, it's over and here. And my favorite. I just lost my lunch and didn't even have any. <laughs> well, again, I was I was so surprised. I walked around and, and I talked to Kim and Brad Jones. You know, they're buddies of mine. from They've been to America a few times. And I talked to them and I looked old Jason over and I said, solid lad. He ought to have a good head on his shoulders. And really and truly, I thought we were just going for a little ride. <laughs> Look, can I say it's a pleasure to have you here and we want to swap notes after because you can tell me what a dude is and I'm going to tell you what a hoon is. Okay? <laughs> oh, <laughs> I already know. <laughs> oh, it is fantastic. I, it was the dude is, um, I think, just uh, just like a, a guy, a friend, a mate. That's a dude, you know. It's, this dude's okay. Just a guy. Uh, what's a, what's a, what did he say? Hoon? What is that? Let me know. Jeez. Uh, that was actually pretty damn funny. It was great to see these two uh, racing greats uh, kind of chit-chat with each other back and forth. Um, and I, I, I don't know the other guy. I'm, I'm not pretending to know him. I don't know who he is, but I assume he's he's probably pretty big over there. Uh, but it's, it's funny to watch uh, Daryl. What a great sport he was to watch him. Uh, react to this lap as he went around. And I got to tell you, I mean, it, it just goes to show you it's different. You know, NASCAR driving around, you, you go in circles. So it's all lefts. And, you know, I know they're trying to change it over now, but, you know, it's not, uh, you know, you just got to, you know, draft, pass. I, don't, I know there's a lot to it. I know some people that love NASCAR are going to be very upset that I don't know the terms. But it's nothing like this. You can't be a NASCAR fan and be like, oh, yeah. yeah it's just as good. It's not. Anyway, I really enjoyed that. I have a video saved that's going to be coming up soon, probably in the next few days, maybe at the end of the week. And it's an onboard uh, camera doing a lap. And I'm excited to see that because I think I'll see more of the elevation aspect perhaps in that, you know, watching it that way. So that'll be coming down the pike as well. Um, you guys be good, all right? Take care of yourselves. I'm going to let you go. I'm going to get out of here. I'm going to go beat feet and run. I'll see you. Scroll up.